Dreams Forever is available at your favorite record store. Shum FM weather clear overnight with the winds dropping away, thankfully, around 5. Kind of cold uh, overnight. For tomorrow, sunshine and 20. And for Wednesday, partly cloudy skies. Tomorrow, nice day. Not too warm, but uh, not bad. Present Toronto temperature, 15 degrees Celsius. When it came out, nobody knew what to call it. They called it Led Zeppelin IV. That was back in 1971. But also, there is good reason to think of it as being titled Zoso. Z-O-S-O. In that, the symbols on the album jacket and on the... uh, the liner, the sleeve inside, and uh, to a lesser degree on the label, seem to be spelling that word, Z-O-S-O. It's a collection of symbols, and it just happened to be into that look like a Z, an O, an S, and an O. Off that album came the classic Led Zeppelin track, the classic Led Zeppelin track, and from a heavy metal band, it was a, uh, not only a surprise, but one that was just received all over the world with incredible acclaim, artistically and commercially. Led Zeppelin, from their fourth album, Stairway to Heaven on Chum FM. 104 Chum FM and Led Zeppelin from their uh, fourth album, Zoso and Black Dog. Also Battle of Evermore and Stairway to Heaven. It's 9.52 right now. There are more than 30 Mother's Pizza Parlor and Spaghetti House locations. Visit the one closest to you. A reminder, the fireworks in Ontario Place start at 10.30 tonight. And there is a a transit, a bus service working out of the Bay Street bus terminal directly to there. But uh, if you can't catch it within 10 minutes or so, you're out of luck. Canadians have a commanding chance to wrap up the whole thing tonight. Again, win the Stanley Cup. They could do tonight. Montreal has a 4-1 lead over the Rangers. 4-1 over the Rangers now. After two periods of play, they're in the uh, in-between periods. 4-1 Montreal over the Rangers at this point. From the Chum FM concert calendar, Joan Armitrading and Steve Forbert at the O'Keefe Center twice on May 29th. Tickets at Bass, Cheap Trick, and Graham Parker in the Rumor at the Gardens June 12th. Seats for that are at the usual places. And a complete listing of all concerts coming to Toronto and all the details you need to know are right there at the Chum FM concert line, 870-9119. A couple of the guys in this band, which is uh, just surface now, used to be with Mitch Ryder in the Detroit Wheels. And when Mitch broke up the band, everybody scattered. Some of them were doing studio work, some small-time gigs, some weren't even in music at all. A couple of them got back together recently with uh, several new players to augment them. And the blessing of uh, people such as Eric Clapton, who uh, looked in to make sure everything was going fine for the lads. And they moved back to Detroit, and they still have that Detroit Wheels feel about the energy that came out of that era, uh, not only amongst the black bands in Detroit, but uh, also with Mitch Ryder and the Detroit Wheels, uh, quite a different kind of energy and real powerful stuff. And the new name for the band, The Rockets. They're based in Detroit, but they recorded this at Capricorn Sound in the southern part of the United States of America. Quite an album. First one by The Rockets from Chum FM. 104 Chum FM, the band is called The Rockets. Turn up the radio. Fine idea at any time of the day or night. Long, long gone, love me once more, and can't sleep. New record from The Rockets. New LP called Rockets. 10.09 in Toronto. Wilson here till 2 in the morning. New Pool Street. Coming into town and uh, eagerly anticipated in the very near future, the cars. Chum FM presents them June 14th at Maple Leaf Gardens. Tickets will go on sale on Friday at locations to be announced. Rick Okasek, Benjamin Orr, David Robinson, Elliot Easton, and Greg Hawks. They make music that's instantly identifiable as themselves, even in the 70s where everyone sounds like everybody else or everything has been done already. These guys still manage to hang out an identity, keep it very simple, and um, at the same time, come out of it having been produced by Roy Thomas Baker, who's known for layering and uh, making things exceptionally busy in a mix. Somebody kept him in hand.